What's up guys and welcome to another episode. I am out here on a beautiful morning as you can see and I'm going to be doing a little bit of walleye fish today with Jace, Darian and some other guy. I really haven't met him yet or know his name but anyway we'll get to meeting him. Hopefully you guys can see this awesome hook set how we started our morning. Got him. Burb. <laughs> Is it really a burb? <laughs> It's a burbot. It really <laughs> and hopefully there's gonna be a lot more of that, just a little bit different species. So we're gonna be out here chasing walleyes today. We're gonna be using dead sticks and we're gonna be jigging for some big walleyes. I agree it looks like a decent fish. Yeah, I think so. I marked them forever. I don't know how to bite them. Oh, I like adventure. That's how I like to start my morning. How about that? First fish of the morning, 25 incher on the best walleye bait in the world, in my opinion. Jace, what do you think? Very comparable to a rip and wrap. Yeah. Regardless. It's the winter though. Nice fish. You think 24, 25? 25. 25. Not a bad way fish. to start the morning, eh? Ooh. Nice. Water on the lens is a great way to start the morning always. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So before we get too far into the day here, right away this morning I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I like to work a jig and wrap. Jig and wrap is such a game changer for ice fishing because it lets you take a, a vertical game and turn it into a horizontal game. These jig and wraps are designed that when you snap this rod like this, that bait's actually gonna dart off to the side. Once it runs out of momentum, it's gonna swing back. It's gonna pendulum back this way, and it's slowly gonna come back to center. So the beauty of that versus other baits that are just straight vertical the way you're fishing is that this lets you play a horizontal game in a vertical situation. I really like to snap my rod, get that bait really moving, a lot of flash, move a lot of water. That wing is actually gonna push some water as it comes up and those fish can feel that in their lateral line. And then once it comes to seeing a fish, you can see how they react watching your electronics. Sometimes they like a big rip and kind of stop it right in their face. Other times they like a big rip and then you start to pull it away from them, kind of give it smaller taps just to get your bait. If you've got it tipped like I do, that minnow head in the center treble, just to kind of get that minnow head swinging back and forth and just keep making that bait kind of hop forward, backward, whichever way the nose of the bait is pointed is the direction that bait's gonna hop. So fishing a spinning reel, you're gonna have some line twists, right? So your bait's generally gonna be spinning. So at any time, when you pop it, it can go this way, and then a se half second later it can go that way, and then this way, and that way. And it's such an erratic bait that I think these walleyes really like, and you gotta get them charged up to really come up and smoke your bait. The cool thing too is that jigging wraps really aren't just for walleye fishing. You can catch just about any species of fish in a jigging wrap, from a bluegill to a pike. Uh, they come in all different varieties of sizes, twos, threes, fives, sevens, and nines. Twos being the smallest, nines being the biggest. Lake trout, northerns, walleyes, smallmouth, just about anything you can imagine in fresh water will eat a jigging wrap and they're just so effective for walleyes. What I want to know is, this is my favorite bait and I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite bait for catching walleyes are. For me, through the ice, it's a jigging wrap, hands down, and hopefully I can show you guys a bunch of hook sets today. Got one. That's a walleye. Nope, that's a white tipped walleye. Crushed it. Head first. The best walleye bait 
ever made. Love that. Some fish. Gone. Oh, I got, I just got smoked. <laughs> 34 and a half. Jace is out drilling some holes, searching for a little bit of a different area. Head first, I think they're hungry. Well, maybe they're not, actually they don't seem that hungry. We've got four dead sticks out and uh, the jigging wrap's what's getting bit. Like I said guys, best walleye bait ever. Nice fish, all starched up, see ya. I worked that fish so long, did not want to do it. Let's see what we got. Nice one. Jig and wrap once again. Don't have to change baits. Jig and wrap is still killing it. I literally worked this fish for over five minutes. He was being so lethargic and finally I got him to go. We're starting to get that midday lull. It's about 11.30 right now. Hopefully we can get a few more fish. Call our day. See ya. This one's a little bit more aggressive. Maybe it's too old Oh God, smoked it. Wow. Okay, they're starting to be, that one hit really hard, but I was just holding my rod. I was kind of sick of working the fish. Didn't seem like he was gonna do anything, so I just held it there. Didn't move it, but this is why guys, this is the best. Wall I bait. Look at that. Absolutely choked it. I'm gonna get the hook out quick. There you go, guys. Another beautiful walleye. Jig and wrap works when you want to play them aggressive, when you want to play them subtle, and when they're kind of in that in between mood. Some are aggressive, some aren't. But wow, what a nice fish. What an awesome little morning we're having here. We're gonna get this guy back. See ya.